<laughs> say less. All right, all right. So, okay, so growing up um, here in Atlanta, did you have both mom and dad in the household? Nah, my brother killed my dad when I was little. What happened? So you decided to stop selling and you started robbing oh, folks? Well, we put it like we was um, call it the Go Girls. The Go Girls? Yeah, motherfucker wants something done. It is, yeah, you know. You know. You gotta do nothing. Put the puss on a nigga. And give it up. Do what you do. So explain it. Go ahead, like break it down for us. Okay, so Lil Kai was like, got a lead. Boom. What's up, YouTube? Hit the like button. Share the video. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm fine, yourself? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, thank you for asking. So are you homeless? Yes. Okay, um, how old are you? I'm 38. 38? And so how long have you been homeless? I've been homeless about a year now. About a year? And what was it that happened a year ago that caused you to become homeless? Well, I've been going through some transpassing with a couple of friends and passing up my baby daddy, you know, staying with other people and motherfuckers don't want to act right because you don't want to give them no pussy so they put you out <laughs> that what happened <laughs> that's what happened okay oh, okay so i mean so uh, a year ago you know what i'm saying who was you living with i was staying with a friend a I male friend like, yeah i ain't want to give up no cool cat i ain't giving up no pussy <laughs> you ain't my man so why i mean i'll pay him hip pay rent Keep everything clean. Keep your little hoes and shit with you know how I go. So okay, so let's so okay. We're gonna put a pin in that. We're gonna get back to it. Alright, alright. <laughs> so do you have any kids? Yeah, I got a war of 23 year old. Okay, and that's just that's it? Yeah, I got I was young. Oh wow, okay, yeah. I mean, so you had her, is that a boy or girl? A boy. Boy, so you had him when you was 15? Yep. Okay. Um what happened with, with that? What what happened? You say that happened to you. Yeah, I how got did that happen? Well, you know, I was in the streets. She I was prostituting back in the day. Shit, it was a hell of a life growing up. Out here on your own, don't have nobody to go to, you run away from home, shit happens. She walked down the street, got gang raped by a lot of dudes. It's so just simple as that? Were you like out on the streets like by yourself or? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, dropped out of port real early. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, we gonna, we gonna talk about that. So, okay. Have you ever been married? Hell no, I don't wanna get married. No? Yeah. Why not? Um, these niggas ain't out here loyal. These hoes ain't loyal you neither. <laughs> okay. But now, it's so, you know, I'm just not really ready. At the moment, I'm not, you know, it's so, I don't like them. I don't think I'm ready for them get married relationship. I got a bad ass attitude, temple, a tall back. But I'm a good ass woman. I'm loyal as fuck though. Keep, cook, clean, make sure everything right. Hey, no complaints. But I'm just not ready. Okay. One of these days I'll get married. Well, I mean, because you had said something about your baby daddy. Yeah, he passed away. He got killed. Now, you know. you say baby daddy, but you got one kid, and you say that it was from the incident. Well, that I happened. got home my baby daddy because of my stepchild. Okay, so it's not your actual. Okay. Child, yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it. The child been in my life for a long time. Okay, okay. Do they consider you like mom or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they like a mama figure? They bad. <laughs> they bad. They bad. They bad. They bad. They bad. <laughs> Even at my mama house, they just bad as fuck right now. They at your mama's house? Yeah. You know, she in Austin. How long ago did your baby daddy die? He died in 2020. Okay, okay. Was it from COVID? No. No? Got okay. killed. Got killed? Was it like street activity type stuff? In the hood, baby. Okay, I get it. In the hood. All right, all right. You so. You die about this shit, you die about this shit. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. So, all right, so let's, let's start from the beginning. So, where you from? I'm born in North Carolina in Army Hospital. <laughs> Came down in Atlanta when I was a little bit of kid. Westside. Hey, what what Paris uh, home. Where in North Carolina? What town in North Carolina? In Walmart Hospital. It's an Army Hospital. Okay, okay. I'm Is that Army in Charlotte Brad. or something? Or? Fort Bread. Fort Bread, okay. Yeah. Hey man, shout out that North <laughs> Carolina, man. Shout it <laughs> out all day. Okay. It's a, and of course grew up in Atlanta on that west side. Harris home. All time. day, I man. Right here, back to Ash Cash, man. Let's get it, man. Yes, I always say, I still too now. <laughs> that's always West, West Side. That's West, West, West. <laughs> yeah, that's out there too. I ain't mad at always it, man. Always Adamville, Flatland. Okay, so the whole, the whole West Side. Yeah. And beyond. A lot of people know me. You know. Okay, okay. I'm okay. a pretty popular person. Pretty popular person. What you known for? 
something, everything, make a nigga laugh, a comedian, a joyful person, get ass. You say what? <laughs> Wait, what you say? I'm a good person, get no ass, way. everything. <laughs> okay, so you know, now this is Atlanta now, you known for that? I know for everything, man. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> say less. All right, all right. So, okay, so growing up um, here in Atlanta, did you have both mom and dad in the household? Nah, my brother killed my dad when I was little. What happened? Got to an argument with my dad and, you know, we shot him. Pretty much. How old was your brother? Mm, how old is he? Was? I don't know. I don't know. I'm about seven. I'm about seven or six. How much older is he than you? A little lot of older. I'm my older brothers. I'm the only girl. I have four Would brothers. you say he was like a teenager or like an adult? He was a teenager. He was in middle school. He was in middle school? Yeah, I think he was in middle school. And he shot your dad? Yeah, this was in 95. We were staying on Whiffview Drive. This was in 95? 94. 94? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Evan Harris home, Whiffview Drive. And you were six or seven years old? Yeah. Do you miss your dad? Hell yeah. Every goddamn day. I wish I had him with me. Sometimes if he was here, I don't think I would be out here. That's okay. real nigga shit. But, you know. I mean, did you ever talk to your brother after that? I mean, we talked, but he ended up in jail again. So did he go to jail for that though? Yeah, he went to jail. For he that. went to jail for that. So when you talked to him, did he ever offer an explanation for why he did that? No, I don't think he did. He probably did to my mom, but probably not to us. You know. Who I mean, knows did, what did, was going through his mind on his head when he did it? He did, was young. Does he seem like remorseful for it? I don't think so. I don't think so. They said it wasn't the first time though, but who knows? It wasn't the first time? That's what they said, but you know. First time that he did that? Yeah. He killed the friend of the family too. That shit was crazy. But you know. That was about some drug money. Oh shit. Brother's crazy as fuck. <laughs> he in prison right now. <laughs> He's crazy. Well, okay. That's the only crazy nigga in the family. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, it's so, okay. So, growing up, um, would you say you had, like, a fairly normal childhood? By me being the only girl? Mm. So, it. Went. I was bad as hell. I mean, you say you jumped off the porch pretty early. Yeah. What age would you say you did that? I jumped off about 12, 13. Yep. And so you say you started sex work? What what age was that at? About 12, 13. What made you start that at that age? Well, that's just getting money. Just getting money, baby. So just, I mean, it because, well, in other words, you like. like this, you want your own shit. All you get your own shit, you got to get out here and get it. So at the end of the day, hey. Well, I mean, that is around the age when kids start to, like, want, like, certain clothes and mm -hmm. shoes and things like that. Yep. But I guess what I'm trying to understand is. Why did your mind go to doing that? Maybe for because money? when my dad got killed or passed, you know, a lot of shit was going through my mind. I just didn't want to be at home with them folks. I didn't want to be around my brothers and cousins. This is well, I mean, it, okay, so let me ask you this way. So, like, what when did what age were you when you lost your virginity? Hmm. About 12 or 13. So, I mean, how, how, how far from the time when you lost your virginity to when you started working, like doing that type of work. That's how I started working. So I mean, was dude, the first was, time that you did the it? The dude uh, I was dealing with, he was a pimp. Okay. Was dude, it the bro. same guy that, um, that, yeah. that sweet side? No? Okay. All right, all right. So it's one of the guy named Red for Bankhead, right? Hell no, who the hell okay. is it? Okay, okay, no, this is, <laughs> this is another guy that we've had as a pimp. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's all right. not on my hill. Yeah, 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 so. Okay, okay, so. Stop selling pussy, start robbing motherfuckers. What age was that? <laughs> when I got them, got. So, like around 15? Yup, when I had my baby, it started shit, started got them going other way. So, you decided to stop selling and you started robbing rob folks? But we put it like that, we was, um, call it the Go Girls. The you Go know, Girls? Yeah, motherfucker wants something done, hey, dude, yeah, you know. You know. You gotta do nothing, put the puss on a nigga. And give it up. Do what you do. So explain it. Go ahead, like break it down for us. Okay, so little Kai was like, got a lick, boom. They go over to the house, handle your beat, and like you finna have sex with a nigga, and then you be pull it out, you know what it is. So you pull the strap out. 
So yeah, how? You ain't gotta have no scrub though. So what would you what you would you put? put Visine in the nigga cup. You could goddamn you no. Know, me personally. What is what does the Visine in the cup do? Oh, that's like a day rate drug. Mm -hmm. To like kind of put them out type yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. And I put too much in there. Kill a nigga. Y'all don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Y'all do not do So, so, hold on, so, so. Be at the club, put a little Vaseline in the cup, put some whatever, you know. But for these days, we'll date rape. Little Vaseline in the cup, pop two, three drink, pop out with, pull up date rape pills. I'll tell you what, man. Oh, that's why I don't drink while I'm out. That's why I don't, don't either. I don't drink a whole lot while I'm I out, I can't man. do it because I be I'm not scared. a big drinker anyway, so. All right, so, scared. so, okay, so, so here's the deal. So. Y'all can't do it. Okay. So you was doing all that. So I mean, you was a wild girl. You you was you was out here. You were you were, you was with wild. the shits. You was with the shits all the way. <laughs> so you you was you was who the dude would call when they know that it's some dude that could get robbed, mm -hmm. and you would show up, and you know like, you know be I guess looking a certain way. Yeah, get your heels on. Yeah. Niggas love women with ass and boots. So did you ever like? You know, did you ever strip or dance or anything like that? Yeah, back in y'all did a little Back stripping. in the day, did a little bit of that? Little jazzy tees. Jazzy tees? Hey, man, what you know about? You ain't old enough for jazzy tees, yeah, man. I was young, I was young. No, I was about to yeah, say, you ain't 38 young. then. You you were 38 live. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. <laughs> what year was you born? What year was you born? 84, baby. 84. Yeah, all right, all right. Yo. So because jazzy tees. It's old as hell. I was I mean, young. listen. I was young back in Jazzy T's was had to be yeah. like Hit listen, up. Jazzy T's was shut down. Yeah, the club Chocolate. You was on the east side with it. I say that. I say that. Yeah. Th those are all the clubs I frequented. Fuck around with the east side peanuts. You know, fuck with it. You know. <laughs> always forgot them. Hey all man, the Metropolitan. Hey man, shout out pinups, man. Shout out that big Jazzy T's back in the hey, day. That's you got to be an East Side veteran, know about Jazzy T's, man. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, all right. So okay, so so okay. So here's the deal, right? So we do kind of have like a somewhat maybe like of an older kind of look. I don't know. It, do we have a history of drug use going on? I smoke weed. Mm. Besides weed, besides weed, now, girl. No, Come on no, now. No. Get on my little pot here, man. Little, little ski beans. slopes. Yeah. Okay, I mean, and what's, what's up with the teeth? Like, what's going on with the teeth? Um, when I was young, the dude I was dealing with, not my teeth out because, you know, I'm, I'm like I see I'm an asshole. <laughs> and, you know, my mouth is a hell of a motherfucker. But I ain't even let nobody put their hands on me or talk to me any kind of way. So, he be my mouth, he not my teeth out. <laughs> but yeah, he he got his he got his shit fucked up too though. Did you ever so you never thought like to try to get it fixed or anything? Yeah, it's coming fast soon. Coming fast soon. Yeah, coming soon. So you know when you would rob these guys, right? Like how much would you be getting? Like what would be the average take if I just had to put one number on it? On average, how much would you get from doing something like that? About five hundred. And is that total? Like would you have to split that with the guys that mm -hmm. gave you the the tip or whatever? No. Or, so that was your cut. Yeah. They heard them get this out top. So. Was this like um like most like drug dealers or like just different guys that had money or just what? Some every damn body. Just anybody. Basically. Whatever the list. Back in them is. days, yeah. Back in them days, it was really different. No, now it's like oh. What you As mean? As you get older, you like realize you that you put not yourself funny. in danger anytime. This shit is not funny. Man. Yeah, because I mean, folks be strapped. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> she's she's something else. She's something else. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so so at this point, like, so what are we doing? You know, if anything, to try to get ourselves out of this position of being homeless. Right now, I'm in this program. They trying to help me get off the streets. You know, they got me in a GD program, so I've been doing that. It's good side works down the street. And the other one's H, I mean, A R H C, I think. That was it. They help you help you with homeless, you know, take you out the street, make sure you have clothes, stuff like that. But mostly, I might just go to my home girl, to my house, go with them, go to sleep. Wake up, go to be crazy, and Uncle my clean up your house, I don't know what the Why? <laughs> just kind of like here, there, just kind of yeah. with your people here, there, and everywhere. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. Well, listen, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, Cash App, anything like that? Cash App. I got Cash App. I got Facebook. 
All right, what's your cash at? My cash at is dollar sign H G H G G G Bo G's and an I. <laughs> Most people don't do that. All right, I'm gonna make sure I double check that one. <laughs> what's your Facebook? Um, it's Tori Long T O R I A Long L O N G. Y'all okay. see me face. All right, for sure. I look the same way I look now. Okay, okay, Miss Rainbow. Yes, sir. Don't be looking at my pictures, though. <laughs> That's a bad picture. That's a bad picture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, listen, we really appreciate it, all right? Thank you. And we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, okay? Thank you. Make sure you have a good one, sweetie. I will. All right. <laughs>